ITV. Come on in. The captain and crew of Royal Princess are in the Caribbean. Holy, oh, it's hot out. It's the world's most popular cruise destination. Because a beautiful view is very inspiring. 10 million passengers a year choosing the dream island hopping holiday. With beautiful white sandy beaches, the crystal clear sea, and every day a different tropical island. It can't be better than right here. But with competition amongst cruise lines hotter than ever, the pressure is on the crew of Royal Princess to stand out from the rest. Gotta be happy when you've done a successful operation. Just makes you look like a hero. And to give every one of their passengers their own slice of paradise. Who doesn't need to pack a flamingo? <laughs> this time, the search is on to find a bartender with the flair factor. OK, stop, stop, stop. I need to find a Tom Cruise from Princess Cruises. Marcella's under pressure, in charge of a wedding. Anything could go wrong, because we're putting together an event that it wasn't planned by us. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... And there are ups 15. and downs for Timothy, making sure his tours are accessible. So now I start counting. One... <laughs> the captain and crew of Royal Princess are on their five-month jaunt around the jewels of the Caribbean Sea. They're joined by 4,000 passengers on a 10-day cruise, and today the ship is docked in Antigua. This former British colony is famous for having 365 beaches, one for every day of the year. While the passengers enjoy the island, there's no let-up for the crew, especially those who have special duties. Flowers is just the regular bouquet, right? Marcella is the hotel's finance manager, but when there's a wedding on board, it falls to her to coordinate it. That's the bride and the groom. So we put it right in the middle and maybe just some... Yeah, some lace. But not too much, just a little touch to make it nice. The Caribbean is the destination of choice for weddings at sea. And this season alone, Marcella's got 25 to organise including one tomorrow. <laughs> we're getting married. So we're getting married on the ship. The couple to be, Jack and Vicky from Middlesbrough. <laughs> Jack proposed on a ship. She was just pestering me all the time, so I thought I'd just do it. Thanks. <laughs> It's an exciting thing. It's like two years being planned, and now it's here, so we're excited. Oh, my shoes. They've just been sat looking at me for so long, I just can't wait to wear them. So, they were actually more than my dress. They were £2,038. <laughs> I don't know. Too expensive for me, I think. While Jack and Vicky take it easy, they're trusting Marcella to step up with their plans. So, Jack... So, Jack is correct. It's a huge responsibility. Anything could go wrong, because we're putting together an event that it wasn't planned by us. OK, so food, drinks, chapel, music, certificate. This is where the perfectionism comes into place, and the little eagle eye for details. What can go wrong? I jump overboard if something goes wrong. <laughs> Marcella's hoping it won't come to that. But while the ship is in port in Antigua, there's one job that calls for some level-headed thinking. What we're going to do today, we're going to do a calibration of all the sensors. Making sure Royal Princess is perfectly level in the water is a finely tuned balancing act, monitored round the clock by sensors. Staff Captain Alessandro is on the bridge checking their readings. If you have a problem, if you have a stability issue, for example, you break a pipe, you start to take in water inside the ship, you need to have all this information in order to decide if, finally, if the ship is stable or not. But the only way to confirm they're correct is by going down to the waterline itself. Everybody is standing by your midship. Today, it falls to rookie third officer, Harry. We're now in the water and we're ready to start the calibration test. We're measuring the depth of the water on either side. 
and we want her to be perfectly upright, but sometimes she has a tendency to sit on one side, which is obviously less stable. Harry's taking readings from the plimsoll line markers, which measure the ship's buoyancy. This changes not just with the weight of the ship, but also how salty the sea is and even the season. Port side, 843. There's eight and a half metres of ship underwater, and they're hoping it's level all the way round. OK, FRC, what do you read on midship? Uh, 850. Eight, eight, break. Uh, Pepe, what do you need on the starboard side? 8.44. OK. On the port side is 8.50, and on the starboard side is 8.44, so which gives us six centimetres difference between one side and the other. They must correct the imbalance. Huge computer-controlled ballast tanks hidden in the hull will pump water from one to another. We're going to start sending water from the right-hand side of the ship to the left-hand side of the ship in order to uh, keep the ship upright. It's like balancing a 330-metre-long spirit level. OK, one more time, guys. Let's go back and check the midship. OK, check starboard. 860, 860. OK, guys, calibration complete. You can come back to the bridge. He's satisfied that almost 143,000 tonnes of ship is sitting pretty. In the casino, manager Alan has a balancing act of his own to do, balancing the books. Every cruise we have a budget for, for all areas of the, of the operation. We've got a slot budget, we've got a table budget. Keep a track of the figures throughout the cruise and then see if we can get close. Alan's takings are down on this cruise, and he needs to come up with a plan to entice more customers. How are you? Not bad, not bad at all. Had a good day today? Yeah, I think they had a better day yesterday, won 1,500 on the slot. OK, that was a bad day for me, that was, yeah. His team of 32 can only open the casino for business when they're at sea. They're going to start coming around half past four. If they have any questions, see if you have any questions, you can ask me now, we're happy to help. Do what we do best, start making some money. <laughs> All right, let's head up. Alan's gambling on an idea for tonight that he hopes will change his luck. With the team poised for the casino opening, Royal Princess is due to leave Antigua in 15 minutes. Holy, it's hot out. Ooh. Shore Excursions agent Timothy has the job of getting everyone back for the all aboard time. Caribbean has basically their own time. So, you know, they say 4.30, but they're having fun out there. They might, you know, come back at five. So that's always a bit of a struggle, but we pretty much roll with it. Marcella has come down to lend a hand with any stragglers. Hello, welcome back. If anyone misses all aboard time, they risk being left behind. And that goes for the crew, too. <laughs> Please wait. Wait for us. Our pre-departure check's complete. Everyone accounted for, Captain Bob Oliver can give the command for Royal Princess to depart Antigua as he's done hundreds of times before in his 46-year-long career. OK, reducing the stern revs, 20 RPM. Reducing stern revs. But with Captain Bob's retirement looming, today has a special poignancy for him. This was actually my last scheduled call at Antigua, so I probably won't be going there again, unless it's on holiday in a 747 or something. Correct, Correct. Correct. Bow to port, stern to starboard, let me know of any concern. OK, steady up, 290. He's taking Royal Princess to her next destination, the island of Martinique, 176 miles to the south. As night falls, it's peak time for passengers to get out and about on board. The duty-free shops and bars are doing brisk trade, and the casino is now open. I'm back. Mama's back. With six out of ten passengers from the USA, a floating Las Vegas is a big draw for many of them. Here we oh, go. here we go, baby. Oh, yeah. Come on. Carol from Florida cruises every year just to play the slot machines. Go, baby. Come on. Go, baby. Go on, baby. In Florida, slot machines are banned outside of Native American reservations. On Carol's cruise last year, she gambled and lost $2,000.
She's hoping to come out on top this time. I kind of like to rub it a little bit. Stop, 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 stop. It doesn't always work, but you know, you try anything. Hi, guys. How's it going, all right? With casino takings down, manager Alan is hoping his luck improves too. Tonight, he's staging an event that he knows Carol will love, a slot machine tournament. You better hit that button as fast as you can. Three, two, one. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Bursting balloons against the clock is the game, and Carol's husband, Tom, is in a hot seat. Counting okay. on you, Tom. We're counting on you. Okay. We're going to play until 6 p.m. You're going to have one shot only and now for the next round. Come on, go, 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 go. Come on. Put a balloon up there. Go, go, get it. Isaac with 94,000 points, followed by Brian and a Gwendolyn. Come on, balloon, balloon. We need the balloon. Come on. Come on. Come on, balloon. There. Don't poop out now. Come on. Two seconds. One second. Oh, dead last. <laughs> it may be game over for Tom. But Alan's slot machine tournament has attracted over 60 players to his casino. As soon as the tournament finished, they all went to play on the, on the machines and at the tables. So for us, it's a win-win situation. Alan will find out tomorrow whether the tide has turned his way. As Royal Princess makes her way towards Martinique, there's someone else with their eye on attracting passengers. Bar manager Lilia from Mexico. Hello, guys. How are we doing? Good evening. How are you? The Sea View Bar puts on a cocktail flaring show once a week that pulls in the crowd. But they're a bartender down. At this moment, we are really suffering. So obviously, an opportunity is there. Would you like being bartender? Yeah? So it would be good for me to watch you guys what you know. OK, we start. One, two, go. Lily is auditioning for someone who can hold their drink. But all the wannabe cocktail flarers are just fingers and thumbs. OK, stop, 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 stop. She's got to keep standards high to attract paying customers. I'm very nervous. I need to find a Tom Cruise from Princess Cruises. Lilia needs to recruit someone from her 84 bar staff who can step up and flare. Hola! I need to have a word with you, Mr. Mr. Michael. Oh, pardon? Yeah, sure. How are you, madam? Oh, very, very good. You know, you gave me a good surprise the other night. What happened? I saw you flirting. Why you didn't tell me you, you can flirt? I could, of course I can flirt. <laughs> I keep practicing, practicing, practicing. Now I'm getting better again. So you know what the situation now is with the flare tenders, right? Yes. That's so right. we need uh, somebody with experience. So I was thinking of you for doing the flare show. Are you happy to go there and be the Tom Cruise I'm looking for? No problem. Yeah? I need a younger version. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's OK. <laughs> Mikey's just been volunteered into the flaring job. Just keep smiling. That's the way it is. Like, madam? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Look at you, you're smiling. <laughs> and he's got just 24 hours to brush up his juggling skills, oh. unless he loses his bottle. Happy to proceed. It's 8 a.m., and Royal Princess is approaching Martinique, self-proclaimed rum capital of the Caribbean, with 11 distilleries. Three zero zero meters to the first off. Visual, we are stopped, sir. Alan, midships, you happy? Happy, happy, and plenty of room. Happy, happy, OK. This 50-mile-long island is a little bit of France in the Caribbean and takes euros rather than dollars. You having a nice holiday? It's lovely, isn't it? While Jack and Vicky are making the most of rolling their wedding and honeymoon into one, with just hours to go before the wedding, Marcella can't let anything slip. Mr. Flores, we come to check on the flowers. If it was for me to get married, I would use a simple bouquet like that. 
Marcella is set to go, but they must be at least 24 miles off the coast in international waters before the captain can marry anyone. Until then, as passengers disembark, Timothy is on a mission. He's off to assess one of the seven excursions available, a trip to a rum distillery. I'm going to drink some rum. Hopefully they give us a lot. <laughs> First, the tour heads to Mount Pele, an inactive volcano. Oh, my goodness. Higher than Ben Nevis, it's not for the faint-hearted. driven through the Atlas Mountains, and this is worse. <laughs> then it's down to Saint-Pierre, at one time the Paris of the Caribbean, until the volcano erupted. Timothy's job today is to make sure this excursion is suitable for all the passengers. Isabel wanted me to find out how many steps to see how the road is, so if it's paved or if it's rocky. So now I start counting. One. <laughs> <laughs> Counting the steps to go down. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. <laughs> this tour is really cool. The brochure at the moment says easy. I think it's more moderate because there's a lot of steps. 28 so far, 29, 30, I think, unless I lost count. <laughs> so I really lost count. I'd say like 40. Counting over, there's a rum distillery to check out. Well, it would be rude not to. Do I get two? Yes. Oh, my. The rum is made from Martinique's homegrown sugar cane. <laughs> Let's try everything. <laughs> so you have to look at each other in the eye when you take a shot. Oh, thank you. Thank you. There are definite perks to this job. I look like a lush. All tours, all tours are back now. Yeah, It's four o'clock and time for Royal Princess to leave Martinique. Mr. and Mrs. Bircham, about to happen. It's zero hour for Marcella's wedding plan. Hello. Look how pretty. Let me see. Very nice. Captain Bob has arrived in good time to officiate. Vicky and her bridesmaids are ready in the wings. Oh, look who's here. I was just coming to pick you up. You look gorgeous. Oh, Cinderella shoes. Gorgeous. But it looks like the groom's party is needing something strong to steady the nerves. Cheers. Smash it. Oh. It's the one thing Marcella didn't plan for. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. And I promise to be faithful to you. <laughs> I promise to be uh, faithful. Faithful. To you. To you. <laughs> Captain Bob's done this 180 times and is not easily phased. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jackie, my Christopher. <laughs> Lovely couple. I hope that it'll last 46 years for them, like my career has lasted for me. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Bertram. Just spoke to the bride, she said everything went perfect, and that's what we were aiming for, so mission accomplished. Marcella won't be throwing herself overboard on this cruise. But is Alan in the casino back on his target? I won't know tonight till we do the final counts. We're definitely going to be very close. If we're not there, we will just be just shot. And has Carol gambled more than the $2,000 she lost on her last cruise? Two pages long. Look, there's yours, 2,751. Yeah, but remember, I was a winner at the beginning. This is kind of a lot more than 
we've used before. We had a wonderful time, and that's what it's all about. So anyway, do you know anybody rich? <laughs> She's in good spirits, happy to take the rough with the smooth. Up on the Lido deck, it's crunch time for the cocktail flaring show, starring for the first time, Mikey. Warm up, warm up. Oh, I could have said about it. <laughs> warming up, warming up. It's getting hot. I uh, feel the pressure now, but uh, I try all my best. So okay. how are you, babe? Yeah? Good. Ready? Yeah. Ready, oh my god. Bar manager Lilia is hoping he can rise to the challenge. We're gonna be getting started, we're gonna be having a lot of fun. With an expectant crowd gathered, there's no turning back now. If you guys want a free drink, put your thumbs up! To Lilia's relief, Mikey pulls out all the stops. It was an amazing artistry of the bartenders, uh, amazing talent they have, and it was really, really good. The Sea View Bar is the best bar on the show. The most fun, the best guys. No questions. Lilia's hunt for her own Tom Cruise is finally over. Next time, Ooh. a steamy problem calls for technicians to get creative. Unbelievable. Beautiful. Putting on a new stage show leaves no margin for error. A foot could potentially get caught, then if it rips down, you're going to rip the entire set. Morning. Are you guys on a tour? Yeah. Anyone? And Timothy needs to keep smiling, whatever the weather. I brought sunglasses, but I don't think I'm using them today. <laughs> <laughs>